Are you kidding me? What is it, dude? Floor mats, man. <laughs> a carbon fiber. Oh. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna continue working on our brand new build, the Lamborghini Aventador SV. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we gave this sucker a clean from the outside because of how much grease and grime and mud was just all over the sucker. There was just mud caked up in the wheel wells, even in the engine bay. But you know what? After spending hours, basically all day, we got this sucker absolutely immaculate right there. And the main reason of that was not only for it to be a lot easier to look at but also a lot easier to work on because you know what it like gets your hands super dirty so it's just a lot nicer to actually just clean it up right now yes, you know sir, what I mean? man we were just getting filthy whenever we were removing those parts but look at that man brand new and a lot easier to work on brand spanking new other than the damaged components back there but you know what we got some stuff for it over there oh my goodness we'll get to man. that later so the next thing that we're going to move on to is this interior because we couldn't get to it in the previous video but look at this dude this is a top of the line interior this is the exact same interior as the svj has and it may not look too filthy but there is a couple stains in the alicantara and there's just like some dirt behind the seat. I don't know how dirt got in there, but man, there's probably like a bucket of some California mud back dude, there. I'm dude, I'm telling you, he rolled over with the windows down, That's, dude. That must be the case because there's no other way for it to get in there. So we're gonna probably pop out both of the seats just to clean it up. And also one of the seats needs to get rebuilt. But other than that, once we get that cleaned up, then we're gonna move on to the front end. We gotta pop some stuff off over there and see if there's any hidden damages, man. You got that right, because we never even went to the front, so there may be more parts yep. to order. We'll save that for a little bit later, because you know what? We're gonna about to fire up some epic tools. We got the steam power right here, or the power steamer, and we got a $700 carpet extractor for not only this detail right here, but also detailing a bunch of other interiors as well. We're gonna use well. it for every build, man. Yes, sir. Dude, this build is moving right along, and you know what? We've seen some of the comments where you guys are like don't rush this and that's exactly what we're doing we're taking our time we're gonna clean it up we're gonna focus on every little detail so i say we go ahead not waste any time let's fire these suckers up right here clean up this interior and get it looking right My goodness dude there what? is just mud trash whatever in here i mean look at this it looks crazy what, i just want to know what is that right there i'm kind of scared to touch that it almost looks like a co2 tank or something like it that it does what does that oh, say on a, there it's a vape dude oh, <laughs> blue raspberry ice right there dude i wonder if this thing still works i, I guarantee them things can survive anything watch, it's crazy watch, let me see right Load in reverse oh a little bit of smoke came out of there <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It smells good, but don't do those right there. That's then we got right. some makeup brushes or what makeup stick right got there. Like a Snickers, a Cheese. prosciutto and cheese. And you got some alien stuff right here. Dude, what, what? if aliens were driving this thing? That, that explains the mud. How Went else would mud road. how else would mud get in here, dude? I don't know. I was thinking the windows are open, but they could have been closed, but this window's broken oh. over here. What if it shot out? But that's a lot of mud to come out of one tiny little window, dude. But look at that. Mud right under there. the net. He was trying to take this home with him, man. Probably, man. But all this stuff right here is going to come on out, and we're going to clean up this floorboard. Look how beautiful this pan is right dude, here. and that is the tub. That's nothing but the tub. It's all carbon. I love how they just left that exposed. Looks super clean. We're definitely going to have to vacuum steam it. Maybe even bring out the buffer and buff it nice and 
glossy, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, we actually need to do that, man. We got to protect this interior as much as we possibly can, yes. along with that seat right there, which that is in perfect condition. Pull that seat out, hold back all carbon, which is just insane. The front is just going to get steamed up, cleaned up, and it's going to look amazing. Yes, man. those tools that we opened up are pretty epic right dude, there. That little steamer, that's going to be great on going around all these edges. We may do the whole entire tub in that steam, just get it nice and clean, but let's just go ahead, probably pop that other seat out, and then we'll bring in the cleaners and go ham. professional detailing right there I man tell you what we turned these sv seats into svj seats with a simple clean Dude, man. you got that right look how clean those things came out and it's out. all with the things that we bought that carpet extractor and that steamer both super epic the steamer definitely i think is the best investment so far look at this it got out all that mud that was caked up on that carbon fiber just with ease. Of course, we're going to throw some detailing supplies at it, get it shined up and everything. But for the most part, it broke all that super hard mud up with this brush and this, man. Super awesome for all like the tight areas or the hard to reach areas. But as for this carpet extractor, it got all these stains out with ease, almost no effort at all, man. No effort, no scrubbing or anything like that. That's just one wow. pass right there. And that looks way better. It looks super good. So basically what it does is you throw soap inside of it and it vacuums and also it throws that solution at it so i guess that's what the main thing that it extracts with you know yeah, that solution it's just a whatever. solution that sprays on there some kind of like a little mixture that you do and it vacuums at the same hey, time and it looks good do you think it's worth 700 dollars though because you bought like a brush and some alicantara cleaner that probably might do the same exact thing it though. might but i know it's going to take some elbow it grease will. you know you got to put in the time but you know what i say we do it on this seat and we'll yeah. compare both we'll seats, put man. it to the test because this like head right here won't be able to reach some of these tight areas right here so i guess we're going to go ahead and test out the thing that you bought on that seat and we'll let you guys know if this 700 dollars carpet extractor is worth it
that is how it is done right there. We tore apart our Aventador seat. And how easy was that Dude, right there? Dude, that was, that was the simplest seat I ever took apart, honestly. What? That was crazy. <laughs> Literally, the back panel right here, this full carbon fiber piece, which we're going to buff and polish, which we still might, just unclipped, dude. It needs to be a little bit polished. I need to get all the scratches and swirls out of there. That way it's perfect. And these seats are made by Sparco right there. That's wow. crazy, man. That is pretty cool. The whole entire seat is pretty much carbon fiber. This is Four. forged. Forged carbon, dude, Ooh. that is nice, man. That is what I'm talking about. And the main reason why we tore this seat down was because we need to actually fix some of the leather. Can we see the leather that's damaged right yeah, there? Yeah, it got completely ripped right here from the airbag. You know, it got ripped up. So they may have to replace this whole entire piece right there. We'll send that off to somebody to completely redo it. And that way it's a lot easier. You know, they'll just get this, fix it, and then ship it right yes, back. Yes, sir. And this airbag right here is one of the tough parts to find. You can find it on the Lamborghini dealership, but I think I think we've put in a couple orders and they keep getting rejected or canceled so we might have to pull a little trick out of our sleeve hey you see that and find something out of a volkswagen or an audi yeah i heard some airbags from some of these cars are just identical i mean th they're all pretty much they're just seat airbags so may do a little bit of research if anybody out there knows exactly what airbag these are out of what volkswagen passat jetta let us know we'll <laughs> buy it a rabbit we'll, do, don't yeah. they have a volkswagen yeah, rabbit those little rabbits but rabbits. other than that man we're gonna get these seats fixed up they cleaned up absolutely amazing got it dirty once again but i will say i do like the carpet extractor more than that little brush yeah because with that brush you got to still use the vacuum cleaner you still got to vacuum it out afterwards you brush it you wipe it that just makes it way easier Dude, with that so extractor. nice but let's go ahead and look at this seat right here that's the one that's flawless got it dirty once again but we took out mainly all the stains got the mud out got the yes, stains sir. and the mud out everything else is foam look at those headrests just pop right off carbon little backrests you know this is crazy Crazy, that man. Lamborghini, sweet. the most expensive car, you would think it'd be the hardest car to work on, but it's actually the easiest. even behind the panels wow. man so that means we're gonna have to pop off a lot of these panels because we gotta have all this stuff out because you know that's that's causing weight we need weight reduction on the, this thing the sv is supposed to be a weight reducted car now we're basically making it into a regular aventador hey, we're going back in time on this thing but you know what we don't want no ants building homes in here so no, sir we gotta probably pop off just a few more things or maybe we can work with it like that yeah i think we may even pop up a, a pop off all of this stuff because we got to wow. get to the seat belts you know what i mean oh, yeah that's right so might as well pop all this off clean it do whatever we got to do and then make our way to the seat belts you know yes sir and we're probably going to change the color maybe on this or maybe do like a red stripe what are you thinking or dude? completely red i mean that would be pretty nice completely red i mean let us know guys you let know us, yeah let, let us know we think? might just go ahead and ship it off with the seat skin and get those completely yeah, changed get up. everything guys so we finally got both seat belts completely removed and we threw them in the package along with the seat skin where we're going to ship it to lnd solutions they're going to get that seat skin looking original and they're going to fix up our seat belts and we might just change them up and turn them red and i think either way it goes it's going to look insane but guys we had to remove a bunch of these panels over here just to get those seat belts out and i gotta say it's just looking more and more epic you got carbon fiber all the way throughout the top and everything but you know what guys we do got some good and some bad news about this interior we're going to start with the good 
good news, and that is this right here. Somebody didn't steal this $4,000 cup holder, which is pretty crazy because somebody stole the floor mats out of here, the fire extinguisher, and a few other little things here and there, but they didn't take this. And look how easy it is to actually take this sucker. Pop you just, that sucker you just out. shake it a little bit. Or Yeah, you got to really pull it. Oh, on. look at that. Literally pop it out. I guess it was just hidden away in between the seats, but this right here is, I think, is like $4,000 hey, right here. Whenever you're buying a Lamborghini and you spec it out, you want to add the cup holder. A lot of Dude. people do. And people that buy used Lamborghinis also look for the cup holder. Dude. Exactly. So I'm super happy to see that right there. But the bad news is somebody stole the number plate out of this thing or the number badge, which sits right about like right there in that area right there. And it says one of like... 500 one of 600 for lamborghini sv and you know what guys we already went ahead and actually found the last one on the lamborghini website which was like a thousand dollars for something this big dude, dude that is crazy a little it's badge wild. i believe it's made out of carbon fiber but for a thousand dollars i mean it's worth it though because it's this car it. needs that plate exactly it's got to be official it's, you know you got to let people know this is a real sv car so we just went ahead and bit the bullet on that but guys right now what we're going to do is continue cleaning up the rest of this car we're going to get the rest of this dirt out because look at that there's more and more dirt everywhere we look we're gonna vacuum it and then we're gonna finally shine up some of this carbon fiber right here maybe throw a polisher at it and after that we got something super epic to reveal to you guys it's something for this interior that cost us a thousand dollars a piece Don't put the buffer to it, man. We put the buffer to this door panel right here, the floor pan. We put it everywhere we could. There you go. I need to put it everywhere else, man, because yes, sir. look at that. It got all the squirrels. This was actually the worst part because you know your hands go here. You're always arm resting on this thing. It was super scratched up, but we actually did a swirl mark remover polish. And look at that, man. It looks brand new, it man. It looks super good. And also that floor pan in there, we hit it as best as we possibly could, but there is a few like pieces where they didn't put enough of that clear coat. Yeah, much. it looks a little dry right there, but no big deal. The rest of the stuff that's visible is looking great we got everything cleaned up in here the whole entire interior the steering wheel dude oh we were able to goodness. save the steering wheel because it was so matted that whenever the steamer hit it and brushed it it was like black stuff coming off dude it yeah. was crazy a bunch of grease from people's hands just pretty Nastiness, much came off that it's but it's not crazy. it's now like brand new alcantara brand new steering wheel looks really good i'm actually glad that that steamer is putting in that much work yes, man. Sir. honestly the steamer i think came in more handy than that other uh, extractor the Carpet extractor, 100%, dude. If you if you, if you you guys want a steamer, get it. It'll clean your whole entire car dude, easily. It's a game changer. But anyways, guys, it's time to go ahead and crack open our very first part for this hook right here, which it's an outrageous part, honestly. And it's for the interior, and this is probably the most expensive interior part 
ever, I think, like personally. It's dude. just it's just unreal what this is. You guys are not even gonna believe what this is. And there's two of them for this interior, and they're a thousand dollars a piece used. Used. I can only imagine how much they are new. Brand new, they're probably gonna be easily twenty five hundred dollars a piece, and I'm excited because this is gonna be super epic right here. Look how thin they are, first off. Oh my goodness, so that's no it. Way. I don't wanna I don't wanna scratch do them with this. Scratch it, man. If you do, we can buff it out. <laughs> Are they both in here? Yeah, I think they're both in here. Let's at least take one out. Wow. Oh, these are hard. Dang. Is there anything else in I here? I think there's more parts in there, actually. Yeah, because we ordered a bunch of parts from the same seller off of eBay. And what we have right here is something pretty dang insane. And I'm super happy we were able to find this. A. What is dude, it, dude? Floor mats, man. <laughs> a carbon fiber oh. floor mat right here. This actually came off of an SVJ, and that's a thousand bucks for this little piece a right here. A thousand bucks used right there. That is insane. Ours are obviously gone right there. That's exactly where these go. They actually screw in with bolts. Look at that. That is absolutely insane. Wow, we dude. might have to find the bolts. Totally forgot about that. I have to buy. I think some custom bolts probably go in here, but look at that. Definitely is gonna look way cool in there. Got all the like carbon exposed right there. And it's not even carpet. It's like a bed liner almost yep, feeling. Dude. Exactly. Honestly, we could have custom made these now that I'm thinking about it. You could have got a sheet of carbon fiber and just but you wouldn't have cut it out this perfect. Yep, right that's here, very man. true. You wanna <laughs> place them in and just see what they look like wonder, in there? Oh, this is probably for the driver's driver side. side. Yep. Let's go ahead and crack this Crack open, open the, the other side right here, but that's pretty wild right there. So this is like only part that I could find on eBay, uh, these four pans. These are the last The two. last ones. The yep. last ones on eBay right here. Let's see. Right. Yep. So let's go ahead, see what these puppies look Dude, like. weight reduction. Oh, look at that. That looks good, The man. ultimate weight reduction. Carbon fiber floor mats, That's man. insane. That's the first I've ever seen of that kind of floor mat in my life. But dude, it looks so good right there. And it's gonna make that interior look complete because without it, it looked a little funky. Yeah, it looked like so. a big old dent in the floor and stuff like that. That just cleans it way up. With the seat two installed, it's gonna look super good. And there goes the driver's side floor mat right there or carpet as Lamborghini calls it. And I gotta say, that looks insane right there, man. That's OEM right there, man. OEM and $2,000 for floor mats, dude. I think that's worth it because of the wow factor. I mean, you can go around telling people you have carbon fiber floor Mats, who man. has those that man. is insane right there and as for the interior that's pretty much all the detailing that we're going to do until we get our seat belts back get that seat skin rebuilt and a new airbag and that interior is going to be put back together and finished up so that's it for that yeah now we got to focus on this that's it now we can focus on the main thing we still got to take apart the front end order yeah. whatever is damaged under there that we don't know you know what i mean as you guys know we didn't get to the front end like we wanted to but you know what we're ta we're taking our time with this build we're paying attention to every little detail we're definitely going to take a different approach on this build rather than just rushing rushing through everything because you know what we want this to be perfect we want this thing to be flawless because it is a rare spec after all it's a rare car in general so we want to make sure that everything turns out just the way we like it and the way you guys like it for Dude, sure it's gonna be a beast when we're done with it, especially yes, once we start cracking open all wow. these boxes man oh my goodness guys let's just do a little quick little walk by right here before we wrap this video up and almost dropped the back of that seat right there. That's probably expensive. I guarantee you the back of this is probably like, what, like 25, 4,000, 45? I don't know. I don't think you can even buy that. It's probably super hard to get, but you know what? We got an amazing deal on this car, so we're super happy about that. So we're able to spend a little bit extra on all this stuff right here and still be super cheap in this Aventador SV. But guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for our love and support. Drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.